We've been here now nearly five, uh, maybe about five weeks. Well, she's been having the, the, the stem cell treatment, um, along with the, um, the physical exercise. And acupuncture. Uh, she has acupuncture every day, um, along with oh, three or four IVs a day, every day. And that's basically our routine. She gets up in the morning and her IVs start. Sometimes six IVs. You know, and um, most days till lunchtime it's tied up with the IVs and then exercise in the afternoon. You know? But the, um, the staff and the nurses are fantastic. Really. Really good. She can't sort of feel any different yeah, but it's like I said to um, Dr. Joe was here last night, probably about half past seven, I think she came. Until she gets back into her own element, I don't think she'll feel any different. You know what I mean? Like, and even, even she said it sometimes takes two or three months before you start to see some sort of change. You know, because I think I've been approached by as late as yesterday. Um, she was doing her occupational therapy with Mark and he was taking her for a walk down the corridor and there was a new patient. I hadn't seen him before. I think he's next door to us. And um, he was coming out of the um, rehabilitation room and he asked me, he asked me, like he, uh, he said to me, could she walk before she came here? So what I think happens... Uh, I. Not that I'm any expert, but I think people come here with really, really high expectations, but um, they don't realise that what's being done here takes a bit of time to work. Because I know from Josephine's illness, it was only little things at first, little changes at first, and then bit by bit, she got to the point where she needed help all the time. And I think if what's being done here is going to work, it'll be the same to a certain extent. The little changes at first to a point to where the person's recovery gets to a certain point to then where it stops. I right. think maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm not, I don't know. Long term, I'm hoping she'll be able to, she can walk, but she has to have somebody help her all the time. What I'm hoping, that in time she'll sort of be able to get around on her own, and maybe eventually even start to drive again so she can get her independence back. Even if she doesn't fully recover, and like, uh, I don't think she'll fully recover, but if she can get back a reasonable amount of her independence that she can go about her day-to-day -day life without having to have somebody helping her all the time, it'll be fantastic, you know? That's, what we were, that's, all, that's all we were hoping for, and she's had this ongoing problem with her eyes since she got diagnosed with the condition, her eyes are always sore, continually. All the, all, her, all the time she's awake, her eyes are continually sore. And we're just hoping that it'll, that it'll clear that up too. And the only thing is a little bit in the mornings when she wakes up, she feels a little bit of relief when she first gets up. But I think even the air here is, is a, because even my eyes hurt me to a certain extent. I think once we get back home, Things, Things think. should change. We're hoping anyway, we don't know. But that's what we're sort of hoping. Yeah. But um, like I said before, as far as the doctors and the, and the staff and the people here, they've been brilliant. Nothing's too much trouble.